Hello everyone. So, so today the question which we are going to do is house robber, which is today's lead code daily question. So the question, if you read it, basically the the gist of it is that we have to find the maximum sum of this array such that we do not take any adjacent elements together. So like for example, uh, if you take uh, one, two, you cannot take one and two together. If you take one, then you can only take three next time. And if you don't take one, so you can definitely start with two. So uh, basically this sum is basically to find the maximum sum without the adjacent elements. So now let's see, uh, we have two approaches for solving this. Like first of all, I've used here the tabulation. So uh, what I've done is that I've initialized a DP array, uh, one D DP array, and I've initialized max to uh, some uh, negative value. Then uh, I have stored the DP of zero. That is the first element of uh, DP will be, that is the first element of nums array given to us will be stored in the DP array. So DP of zero equal to nums zero. Now from uh, from i equal to one, uh, that is from the second element, the nums dot length. We will, I will do certain task. Now what is that that task? Let us understand that. So basically, this is the uh, uh, function, we, uh, the code which I have copied over here. So now what I am doing over here. So first of all, as I said, I will copy the first element of the question that is given to us to DP array. So okay, I will put two over here. So now what I will do from i equal to one. Now uh, there are two variables. Uh, we have two choices that we can either take seven or we cannot take seven. So if we take seven, so we have to take seven and uh, we cannot take the previous element. So we have to take the previous that is i minus two element. But since i minus two is out of the uh, array, so we'll just take seven over here. So in take in take we have only nums i. For now, that is seven, and since i equal is equal to one, and uh, dp of i minus two is uh, outside array, so it will uh, we will not add that currently. And in no take, that is we don't take seven. So what we do is what we transfer the dp of i minus one, that is two. So if you are not taking it, so of course we will transfer this two to this uh, part at the seven in dp. So we have two choices: take and no take. So now what dp of i of that dp of uh, one base four. Now DP of one, that is the position where seven is that we store maximum of take variable and no take variable. So now if you, if you see now DP of uh, no DP of take is seven and DP of no take is two. So uh, the maximum two is seven and is seven. So I will simply store seven over here. Now from uh, I equal to two, that is nine. Now here you will uh, simply you will understand the uh, problem much more easily. So if for i equal to uh, two, that is nine, we have two choices. In take, we will simply store a num side that is nine for now. And since i is greater than one, so we have dp of i minus two available to us. That is this variable. So this is available to us. So we will store, uh, we will add nine plus two. That is, uh, we will also add dp of i minus two because uh, since they are not adjacent, so we can definitely add the dp of i minus two to the d to the take variable. So take becomes so uh, take becomes equal to eleven for now, okay. So it will be eleven. And uh, what about no take? No take will simply be dp of i minus one. That is, we will be transferring the previous element. That is seven. So uh, no take will be seven. Now uh, we have to find the maximum of them, and we will store that in the dp array. Now uh, uh, maximum of eleven and seven is eleven, of course. So we will store eleven over here. So now same things we will do for three also. Now dp of, now take of for three will be nums of i that is three plus dp of i minus two that is in here it is seven. Okay, so uh, it will be seven plus three that is ten. So take will be ten for now, and uh, uh, no take that is dp of i minus one for dp of i minus one is eleven. So eleven and no take will be eleven. So maximum of take and no take will be eleven. So we will store eleven in the DP array for three. Now same thing for I also for uh, one also. Now uh, take here will be uh, one plus one plus DP of uh, uh, two. That is one plus eleven. That is twelve. So take will be simply twelve and no take will be eleven because we are just transferring DP of I minus one. 
at node D will be 11. So maximum of 12 and 11 is 12. So we will be storing 12 on DP of A. And at the end, we will be returning the DP of nums dot length minus 1. That is, we will be returning this value which we got over here. So this is our answer. So simply we will uh, what we will do is we will uh, store the answer and we will submit it. Now the, this max is uh, unnecessary. I forgot to remove it. So um, here is the tabulation part. Now we will let let's move to the next part that is O of one space optimization. So now coming to the next part that is O of one space optimization part. So what I have done is that instead of uh, instead of one second instead of using instead of we we were using uh, one D array. But we uh, got to know that we are using only uh, DP of I minus one and DP of I minus two itself. So uh, what I've done is that I've used two variables instead of that. That is, prep will be uh, just like DP of I minus one, and prep two will be simply as DP of I minus two. So we need not use any array over here. So now let's move to this uh, uh, discussion of this part. So uh, what I've done, so I've pasted the solution over here. So first, I will what I will do is I will uh, place nums of 0 in prep so number of nums of 0 was 2 so i will place 2 over here so we got 2 over here and prep 2 will be initially 0 so from i equal to 1 to nums dot n what i will do now for i equal to 0 to uh, i equal to 1 to nums dot n so i will do first of all no take is equal to prep so no take will be equal to prep that is 2 okay and prep and take will be equal to Take will be equal to num same as we discussed in tabulation nums of i that is 7 7 plus prep 2 that is uh, prep 2 is 0 over here so 7 it will be 7 now now what I, now what we will do is it uh, we will store answer equal to maximum of taken no take so answer will be equal to 7 okay so answer will become 7 itself now we will store prep 2 now prep 2 will store prep so prep 2 initially was 0 so now it will be storing 2 and prep will store answer that is 7 okay so this is the main process we will be doing and we and also keep in mind that uh, that in tabulation we have to do that if i equal to i is greater than 1 then only we will add prep 2 so but here since we are initializing prep 2 to 0 so that problem is also gone so the same process will be done and at the end we will return the prep so let me complete this so i have completed completed this uh, solution so as, as as you can see i as at i equal to 1 we get uh, take equal to equal to 7 to 0 that is 7 and note take is 2 so answer will be 2 and then we will what we will do is we will show prep to prep in prep 2 that is prep 2 is equal to prep is equal to 2 and prep will become answer so prep equal to 7 for i equal to 2 uh, we get uh, prep is equal to we have prep equal to answer and prep to equal to 2 so take will be equal to uh, 2 that is nums of i plus plus sorry that is nums that is uh, nums of i that is 9 plus 2 so it will be 11 and no take will be 7 answer will be 7 and we will continue this till i equal to 4 and uh, as you can see at i equal to 4 we get prep equal to 11 prep 2 equal to 11 so finally the answer is uh, 12 so uh, at the end, what we do is that we store prep in prep2. So uh, prep2 will become 11 and uh, the main thing is that answer will be stored in prep, that is 12. So that's why, that's the reason that we, uh, at the end, we return prep and not answer. So here we have written prep over here. So this is the main part. So um, I have done both the solution and this both the solutions have been uh, accepted by lead code. So this was the first solution which has uh, this tabulation one and this one previous one was the o of one solution so i hope you like the uh, solution video if you like it so please do like and subscribe and thank you very much